three, two, one. Now, whether it's one of the ones you men- one of you two have mentioned or somebody else, go locate one. Mm. You know what it is, though? In terms of goalkeepers, we've had what? Schmeichel, Van der Sar, and David De Gea. Three in the last how many years? That's 30 years, you know, when you look at it. Like, yeah, in between, we, so we got one year, we if you're Man United's number one keeper, where are you going? You know, yeah, there was a in nowhere. That's it. And if you're a goalkeeper, you're there for, because they're so rare and hard to find in terms of good ones. Yeah. You're in for 10 plus years. Jamaica was here for a long period. Van der Sar, if he was younger, would have been here for a longer period. De Gea is still here now. Like, if you're good enough, like, people will get, even when De Gea had his poor seasons, people gave him a blight because of the seasons he had had prior and the bad states we was in and him getting player of the year four years in a row or whatever it was. And, like, I always remember the game against Arsenal. Like, that was an incredible goal. The one where we won 3-1 yeah. and Lingard um, Millie rocked. Like him, yeah, the amount like, of saves he yeah, made. No, the bad one. Yeah, the yeah. amount of saves he made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he had like a... thirty odd shots. Yeah, that and the Spurs game, he, he had like the record for the most saves in the game. Saves, yeah, most it was saves. ridiculous what he was like, yeah. th- like them games there. So that will give you time. But whether it's the hair, but he should load to me. We should get him to lower his wages. That's smart business. We've cleared up a lot of money of wages. I think he will do that, and then I think then the United fans will start to look at him moving on. I think. Like I said, yeah, the, the pe- people want a modern day keeper, but you can also have a modern day keeper who isn't a better keeper than David De Gea. You can have modern day keeper attributes, it says, a kicking out from the, you know, kicking out distribution and whatnot. But he actual being an actual keeper, he might not be better than David De Gea. So I think the manager will look at that position and think, you know what, I need more positions that are urgent right now, like the right back situation. I think for me, we need a centre back. I think we need a, a, a tackle. You know what I mean? So there's a more urgent op- um, options out there, innit? You feel me? So just depends on what the manager wants, man. I think he's going to have to look at the striking options first. You know what I mean? Go yeah. and get Goldie Gakpo if you're going to get him and then go from there. I think what it is with the goalkeeping situation, we've seen it in the opening two Premier League games. That's key to how he wants to play. And even though David mm. Deja has been better with the ball at his feet so far this season, that's mm. Ten Hag's plan. When you want to look at what Ten Hag wants to do in terms of playing out from the back, we've seen it against Brighton, we've seen it against Brentford. It didn't work. So he's had to alter the game plan, which is smart. But going forward, whether it's this season or the season after, I believe David De Gea will be moved on 110% because he's not the profile of what... He's not a he's not a modern-day goalkeeper. The same way you just don't get strikers who just score goals anymore. Like, the game has gone a different way. Same way your fullbacks have to be miles better on the ball. And the list goes on and on in terms of certain things you need you didn't need years ago. Mm. David De Gea, in terms of fundamentals, is fine. I don't question the shot stopping. I don't question the traditional goalkeeping things he has to do. That's not my issue with him. My issue is distribution. The ball ice feet. I think even the Burnley keeper, he pinged one to their left winger like mm. during that yeah. game. And I was like, rah, because the ball went over wan Basaka's head. And because of the way the camera angle was, I thought it went out of play. He picked out a player. And then yeah. he picked up the ball a few minutes later and did the exact same thing to the other side. It starts attacks. I'm yeah. saying it's a, it's it's an it's an attack like that's what that is. That will get you five six goals a season, just that of distribution. We've seen it happen against us when was it last season when the Brighton keeper picked out was it I think it was Cucurella, yeah. and he picked him out on the left hand side and he ended up scoring a goal. Yeah, yeah, I remember like, that. That's one. how it, that's how important that is, and it sounds harsh because of what David De Gea has done for us, but. Yo, you have to move with the times, people. You evolve or die. That's yep. what it sounds harsh, but legit, that's what it is. For real? 100%, man. You got me? That, and that, that'll come from the manager, innit? But like I said, with, with what my United need right now, I, I want to put it on the highest priority right now for me. Like I said, oh. you know, the amount of players that he's still got to take out. I was listening yesterday. There's at least 11 players that will probably end up leaving from this current team. Um, mm. In terms of what he wants, because... The, we're not, we're nowhere near, and like I said, you can still see an identity. I'm seeing the fullbacks are inverted as well. Malassia's playing in midfield sometimes. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you only got to see it like when you're when you're watching it carefully as to how Ten Hag is actually transforming his team. And people don't want to, people are not seeing it maybe, or people are like, oh, well, it's still still a Messiah to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, it's still transition football. But bro, it's the way that we're picking up positions now. I'm I'm so happy to see it because then at least now everyone's got a role in this team. 
everyone's got a role. Absolutely. So I'm looking at now Rashford's resurgent now. And on the right hand side now, he's more direct. He's actually looking up. The manager's told him, yo, listen, look up, man, when you're running. And that's where he's got him to there. So I think hats off to the manager, man, transforming players. And now you can see there's a there's a different style and element to their game now. It's not just kind of like we're just gonna do everything freestyle. We're gonna actually know what we're doing. And every phrase of play is constructed. And it's yep. it's lovely to see, man. Like the way we we moved the ball from defense to attack now, I love it, me man. It's 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 a lot of build up play. But... Yeah. Go on. Absolutely. Now I was gonna say it's good to be going, and I said this before you jumped on, good to go into games confident. Knowing we're going to move the ball well. Being confident of playing a championship side at home and going, yeah, we're going to win this game. Yeah, will it be tough? Yeah, they're not going to roll over, but we have enough quality, specifically in the final third, to do the business. And that's what won us the game. It was our attacking players. Bruno's involved. Ericsson's involved in the first goal. Rashford with the and it's happening, And it's happening very consistently now, which yes. is the good thing. Like, obviously, I think like like man. Yeah, boy, bro. He's turned our strikers into killers, bro, because I'm seeing Rashford and Martial getting shots off with their weaker foot a lot more now. Bro. Do you know what I mean? And it shows that he's definitely drilling these guys, yeah, to just get shots off when they, when they get in and around the area, bro. Like, it's happening with both of them. So, can't be a coincidence because Martial don't take shots on his left foot, bro. Like, not really. If he can try and get the ball onto his right foot, he will. Do you know what I mean? Rashford doesn't even bother trying to take stuff onto his left foot. His left foot is for standing on only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, the fact that they're actually voluntarily shifting the ball there and trying to get shots off. It shows that clearly they're they're working on becoming um confident and um and comfortable in these situations, which can only be good for us. Hundred mm. percent, man. Yeah, when it also ties into you said it there. It also ties in just to being confident in general. I'm saying mm. you're gonna try more things. You know, like on your left foot. Whereas if you're if you're not confident, you're like, all right, let me get this on my stronger foot. Let's get this shot off like properly. Let's let's just hit the target rather than just score. That's it, hundred yeah, percent. There's, 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 there's a kind of a, in their game now. They're trying to vary it now, and I think that's what the manager wants. He wants them to be comfortable on both sides. Now you can't just be having a a modern day winger now that can only play in one side of the pitch. You got to be able to use it, do it on the other side, man. You know what I mean? And now that's what he wants from Rashford, and you can see it there. You know what I mean? He went on the right hand side. And, and confidently, yeah, people can say it's Burnley in it, but I'm looking at the principle of what he's doing. You know what I mean? The fact that he's on that right-hand side and he's going at players and he's confident and he's got that close control dribbling and he's going at players confidently and then putting the ball back in the net. You get me? So this is what mm -hmm. you want to see, man. And it's about time, man. A lot of people say, oh, this and that, Rashford, bro. We want, Everything that we're saying right now is what we wanted to see. And everything that we're seeing right now is what we wanted to see. This is it. Like, he weren't doing the stuff that we were telling him. The manager's come in. He's micromanaging the players. He's one-to-one -one training. There's accountability now. You know what I mean? And obviously, you got Benny McCarthy involved now. Before, we didn't really yeah. have coaches, man. Yeah, and, you know and, and legit. You said it there. Before, it was just Oli saying, oh, just fucking shoot, innit? Go out there, that mate. was Oli, man. Like. <laughs> was, was just like, just shoot. Yeah, yeah bro. You can see that there's clear instruction with everything that's going on because we're seeing patterns now. And like you said just before, Rance, it's consistently happening. This is why mm. we're not losing often. This is why we're winning more than we're losing. This is why, we're, again, people, confident. I'm genuinely looking forward to Manchester United games. For the mm. first time in a lot, I was looking forward. As much, like I said, as much as I like the World Cup, I was looking for, I'm looking forward to the game on Boxing Day. I'm looking forward to two, three games a week coming up mm -hmm. for the rest of the season to see how we do.